Ish. <laughs> and my co-host Terry Knight. How are you, Terry? Hello. I'm good. I'm good. Getting well, all fired wonderful. up for defeat of Jesse James days. Yeah, big weekend in Northfield years. for you. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Defeat yeah. of Jesse James days. We should talk a little bit about that, maybe to open. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Um, kind of explain what it is. So, um, in Northfield, the James gang had come to First National Bank because they heard there was money there, but um, it wasn't well protected. And they um, came up, his gang, and went to First National Bank, and Joseph Lee Haywood, who was the bank, I'm not sure if he was the president or what I was thinking exactly president. his role is. I thought well, so. He, but... Yeah, I think so. Um, he would not open the safe because yeah. he knew everybody's, the whole town, all their money was there. Right. Um, and uh, somebody, I can't remember all the characters, came up to the bank and saw that obviously something's going on. And one of the thieves chased him off and he runs, get your guns, boys. They're robbing the bank. Yep. <laughs> yep. And they killed Jace- Joseph Lee Haywood. They murdered him yep. and um, Nicholas Gustafson on the street, and he was just walking by. And that was, I don't know if that was a, a actual, they tried to do it. But anyway, um, then 75 years ago, the town of Northfield decided that they really wanted to um, create the defeat of Jesse James. Now, he did get away. Mm-hmm. It was Frank James that was killed, but Jesse Jesse and the gang got away, but he, he never robbed again. He and was he was kind of severely injured too out of that. He thing was, was uh, Jesse. Yeah, right? he was he was injured. Um, I can't remember where they caught him, but the Northfield Historical Society has a great exhibit, and they've got a lot of information. And um, yeah, it's 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 a pretty cool celebration. So but they do this funny. week uh, weekend celebration uh, mm-hmm. starts on Thursday uh, for the locals and then runs through Sunday and ends with the parade and yes. they do reenactments. How many times would you say, Terry? Oh Quite a few boy! During the course it's of the weekend, it's a lot. Um, it is the best for people out there. If you're ever looking, yeah. if anybody has interest in the whole uh, Jesse James thing, uh, there's so much history in Northfield, Minnesota, on that. And the historical yeah. society in town does a wonderful job, and and the reenactors are which, amazing, and the actors are amazing. And that's why I said, I mean, yeah. if for somebody that's interested, I I've seen that thing because I was working down there at the time right. in, in police work, and yeah. um, it's amazing. I mean, it's just it amazing. Is. They are, and the defeat of Jesse James Day's committee is the largest. Um, Vol- all volunteer operation in the U.S. As far as I understand, I remember hearing they that have arena. so many volunteers. They have to. It's oh, a it's huge, huge celebration. I I think the I read somewhere here. this year they're expecting like I mean it's, it's like two hundred thousand people yeah. during the course of the weekend. Yes, so yep. it's pretty amazing. It and is, and that's always on the weekend after Labor Day, correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, mm-hmm. thanks, Terry. Sure. I think some of our listeners might find it it's, it's, it's quite fascinating. And, and like I say, it is. they close the whole yeah. downtown down, and yes. people just stand on the street and watch this reenactment on the sidewalk mm-hmm. uh, across yeah. the street. And, and it's, uh, it's amazing. It really is. And I, I, I want to give a shout-out to Tim Freeland. Um, he is the announcer. He took, he took over from Danny Freeman, who – was unbelievable and was Tim good. has just totally taken it over and the horseshoe hunt and all kinds of stuff that he does. Yeah, so. There's a lot of activities. They have a rodeo during the weekend and there's 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 all kinds of stuff going on. Oh so my god. It's pretty cool. Classic car show. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. One of these years I'm gonna drive my Camaro down there for that. All right. Do it. <laughs> I think right, we know some talk. people. All let's right, talk. yes. Bold and beautiful. Sounds good. All right. So let's start out, Terry, talking a little bit about Eric. Uh, recently had mm-hmm. a conversation with Ridge 
about wanting to design his own line, and he's thinking it's going to be like epic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Ridge really was dismissive of his idea. Yeah. And uh, I thought you'd appreciate this part, Terry, where he tell uh, Ridge tells Eric, "Why don't you go play golf or play pickleball with Donna or something?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Huh? You he know. was playing pickleball with Donna a while <laughs> he back. He certainly right? was. I th that's what they call it when you're yeah. older, apparently. Is, do you notice at all okay. that's been said now twice this week, I think? Has uh, it? The pickleball thing. It it looks like everybody has a kind of has a hard time keeping a straight face when they make that statement. <laughs> I could see why. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. I wonder how many takes wink, they wink. do on that. You know, you wonder Ouch. if something like that, people end up kind of breaking up and they got to retake it. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Eric, through this whole process, process he ends up uh, uh, talking to his grandson, RJ, mm -hmm. and he kind of tries to convince RJ to help him. Um, and he also wants him to keep it, keep it a secret, um, mm -hmm. which I think is going to come back. And I've got a question on super sudsy questions coming up for you on that one. Mm-hmm. But uh, um, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, I have a couple questions, but I'll save them for that later. Okay. All right. All right. So Sheila, Terry, continues to hang out at Deacon's Love Shack. Jeez. That, that's my new word for Deacon's apartment. Yes. Uh, and they are definitely playing house together, by the way. Yes, they are. But did you recall Ridge and Carter? I know. Are yeah. On to, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. they're, I wouldn't say they're onto it, but they are s definitely suspicious, yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Why would you not have a private detective right there? No I shit, would. Yeah. I would. I mean, clearly. Well, but, and like yeah. none of those people could afford it. I mean, like Ridge. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Pay some PI to go sit on his house and just wait to see when yes. she comes and goes. Yeah. Oh, Terry, that makes too much sense. I know. I know. Here you go thinking this is real again. I know. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Steffi uh, recently decided to move back home, and I thought, good. I thought this was going to be great. So she's, yeah. she decides it's time to go home with Finn and, and move back in. I mean, she's there 10 minutes probably. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, Sheila's telling Deacon that it's time. I'm going to make, you know. Right. I'm going to go see my son or grand and grandson, et cetera, and uh, heads over to Finn and, and Steffi's place. Well, mm -hmm. she's chatting, and all of a sudden she sees something, and it's like, oh, no. Because I thought right away, too, it's probably Sheila. Well, sure yeah. enough, she goes, it's Sheila. Yes. Lurking. And, she was lurking outside. And Finn, you know, okay, so the, here's a little conundrum. So Sheila does think that Steffi is still at the at Eric. She doesn't expect her to be there as Correct. she's telling as Steffi's telling Finn, "Yes, I want to bring the kids back." Why would you not go to the front door? If you thought that Steffi wasn't there, why would you lurk around the back? And come in through the sliding glass door. I mean, you know, really? That's a good, that's really I, yeah, a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It just heightened the creep factor, I guess. Yep, yep. So then, yep. Uh, so Finn goes outside after Steffi says this. He finds her out, uh, finds uh, Di Di Diane, I'm getting my soul poppers mixed up here. <laughs> <laughs> and finds Sheila outside. So then confronts her and basically says, bring your goal. We're going to go in the house and we're going to end this now or whatever kind of thing. Yes. And then, so he, Steffi's there, mm -hmm. Sheila and Finn are there. And I thought Finn was going to, I thought he was going to back down to her at first, but he did, he did end up laying yes. down the law and said, you're done. We can't be having you stop over doing the, you know, contact. You're out. Us. Right. You're out. But, but you know what I didn't, what I didn't like is the way they let that drag on and let Sheila continue to deride Steffi 
who has been tortured by that woman for a lot longer than Finn. Right. And suddenly this great bond. I don't, that's, I, you know, I'm, I, I have a hard time with that one. Well, and like you said, even just letting her go on and on was kind yes. of ridic- yeah, it was kind of ridiculous because I mean, get her out of there, right? Well, yeah, and Steffi's clearly frightened, yeah, and should be, and rightly so. so. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. No, you're right. That so was kind of kicks- that was odd. Yeah. So Finn does get kick her out. He kicks her out. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, following this. Uh, Sheila goes home. She's all pissed off and goes yeah. home and vents to Deacon. And Steffi's response here didn't actually did not surprise me because uh, oh, I knew no. she was having a baby in real life. Right. And going off, you know, they were going to have to try to figure out an exit plan for her for maternity leave. So mm-hmm. I, uh, I think you and I talked about this last time, yeah. that that's probably what's going to happen. She's going to end up leaving with the yeah. kids. Yes. Uh, Because it it just, it makes a good story and it buys, it buys her time. Oh, absolutely. But did you, did you, and another scene that I thought was interesting is Sheila is on her way back to Deacon's and Deacon's using those. Numchucks. I don't know. Is that what they're called? Okay. I I was going to say that, but I didn't know for sure if that's what they're called. Okay. There you go. I thought, oh, really? Yeah, that was dumb, wasn't it? Yeah. Is she... Well, maybe there's a reason for that. I just okay. thought about that. Maybe there's a reason. Okay. So Steffi yeah. basically tells Finn, I'm, I, I can't live like this anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to be living in fear of, of Sheila every, every minute, and I just can't live like this. Mm-hmm. And says, I'm, I'm, I have to take the kids and leave. Yeah. And so she does. Yeah. I mean... She ended up doing it. Did she? I, I didn't see today's show. Oh, okay. So what they, what happened, Terry, was is that they they led us to believe that because uh, uh, I thought, did I miss a day here? Because they they really did make her exit almost kind of. I mean, it they didn't show it like her on an airplane or you know what I mean. Oh, okay. So that we're just being told that she's gone. She's going to England. And, oh, uh, okay. and Taylor's going to come and help with the kids. Okay. So now that gives Taylor a reason to say, you know, she's still on the show, but she's over, you know. Right. Because they'll bring right. her back. Oh, yeah. Taylor. I would hope so. Boy, yeah. do I and really you hope, hope so. so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's how that went anyway today. Okay. Uh, that, okay. You know, she went and talked to Finn. You saw that yesterday probably, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She told and uh, or told uh, Liam. I'm sorry. She told yeah, Liam. Yeah, she told Liam. Yeah. Which, okay, I get well, it. You have yeah. to tell. It's your daughter. It's, he's the dad, you know, to one of the yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. But okay, I've got some thoughts on that, but we'll get to that. Okay. And then you say Dollar Bill is back. Dollar Bill came back today. Oh. So Dollar Bill also shows up in the office, and of course Liam and and. Uh, his brother. Uh, oh, Wyatt. God, I'm, Wyatt I'm there. so tired of those two. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Bill, Dollar Bill ends up giving him a speech, and uh, the boys a speech, and he said, I understand that, Liam, you've been using uh, Wyatt as your amateur psychologist when you're supposed to be, you two boys are supposed to be working. He goes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, a, that's the Dollar, dollar Bill, Bill we know and love. Yeah. That's yeah. the Dollar Bill we love, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. All right. Uh, let's go into super sudsy questions. Okay. All right, Terry. So what will happen when it's discovered that RJ is helping Eric design this quiet line that they're doing? Well, I think for sure that it's not going to be uh, a good thing for Thomas. He's going to be jealous. I think a lot of that may have to do with the fact that RJ is named after Ridge. Yeah. Um, but, you know, poor Thomas, he's he's going to, I think he's going to face some stuff. And I don't like to see that, but I think he's going to feel like that's some real competition. Um, and, but did, and did you notice the new look for RJ? 
Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What looked different about them? Shirts. Shirts, what, what? haircut, style okay. of clothing, <clears throat> all. Yeah. He. You, yeah, they're stepping him up. Yeah, and the other, as long as you're bringing that up, I did read, uh, or I mean, the research department found <laughs> yeah. that uh, they're going to bring a love life in for RJ on the show. Oh. God, that's, I hope it's not Paris. That's rumored. They don't tell us who okay. it is, okay. but it's rumored that that's... So now that you tell me this, because I was yes. trying to figure it out myself today. I'm like, he looks different, but I couldn't mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out what it was. 10 to 1, it'll be Paris. Ah, sure it will. Yeah. I can and see that. that. means she's back on the show. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer that first question by saying that I think Ridge is actually going to be really pissed off. When, he, when it's discovered. Oh. He's going to feel like, uh, well, he's going to be feel betrayed by RJ, and he's going to feel backdoored by his, by his dad, or, you know what I mean, that he doesn't, He didn't you're not trust listening. him, I think, yeah. But, you know, if he does, that's kind of a crappy thing to do, because he's the one that kind of, I mean... He didn't handle it. Rich didn't handle it. He didn't well. handle it well, no. and I don't think Eric did either. He should have no, just I, been up front that, hey, I want to do this. Instead, he kind of acted a little bit like a baby, too. But um, he did. RJ's I not, I don't think RJ has any fault to accept. No, I him. agree. He's he's a no, kid. But, I mean, well, he's not you a know, kid. You know, Ridge, but... he'll probably oh, yeah. over, he'll oh, overreact. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, Terry. So what's going on with Eric, physically and or mentally, really? Well, I believe thoughts? they said he has arthritis in, in his real hand. life or on the it, show. On the show. Oh, okay. On the show. I didn't and catch that. That could be. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty certain they he he told RJ and told him not to tell that to Ridge. You are you going to watch today's episode? Yeah. Okay. When you do, Terry, look for. Um, there was some mention today, RJ comes over to the house today mm-hmm. to help Eric. He's basically support him and what he's trying to do, and he gives him a pep talk, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But Eric made a comment that he, for, there was some comment made about how he forgot something. And, oh. But I, I can't remember what it was, so if you go back, take, take a look for that. Um, well, there might be some of that, too. I'm thinking, and just by the way he was acting with Ridge... Yes, that I was I kind of thought maybe they're trying they're going to turn this into a dementia thing. Well, yeah. That's what the topic they, they could. haven't And you know they, that's, that's a topic actually, they haven't tackled. And it would be a good topic. It would. I socially, I think I that agree. would that would be a good thing. Hmm. Okay, well I'll take a peek. I'll You know, look especially for if it. he's a, if he's of the if he's open to it first of all, but oh, also sure. Um, and I think he would be. I he's, think he would He's a be. really good actor. I th- he is a good I think actor. I think he'd be fine. But with let's it. say he, let's say Terry wants to retire in a year or six months or something mm-hmm. like that. It would be a good storyline to kind of walk. It would to kind of put put him in in his exit. Yes. You know. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. all right. So, what's gonna what's going on with Hope and Thomas? We haven't seen much of those mm-hmm. two together. Mm-hmm. No, I'm pretty sure I know what they're doing. Ah, <laughs> I th- are they playing I think pickleball? So, I, yeah, I think they're playing pickleball. Um, <laughs> but you know, because the last scene with the two of them together was her really coming on to him and saying, mm. "Can you handle this?" She's yeah. not ready to commit and tell people, but That's she right. definitely wants him. So. You know, but I thought I think... she was going to break it off with him, Terry, in that scene. But then she, or uh, Hope, she you ends know... up saying, you know, basically confirming that she's interested in having a relationship. Well, she's interested in having sex with him. And I think she's interested in it so much. I don't know if she's ready for a relationship with him. But I that's... think what's going to happen is that that's going to mess him up yeah. badly. And that's going to be, there are multiple bones of contention that are going to happen between Ridge and Brooke before they get married the bazillionth time. 
So. <laughs> Didn't you and I, a few years back when we were doing this podcast, we're probably still just only audio, but yeah. um, I think you and I counted. Didn't we figure out how many times? I think she uh, married him. Him. Eight. Just yeah. Ridge alone. I, think, I remember eight. you going back and counting. Yes. I think that's what you came up with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh what do you Brooke. think mm-hmm. um i like what you're saying I, I i guess i just hadn't put a lot of thought into it but i would say i can totally see him like you said he's gonna fall hard for hope and you're probably right she's got a different idea on what that relationship is right now mm-hmm. anyway yeah um it's sex, like you said, it's a sexual mm-hmm. relationship, but it's not uh, not serious. Not for. I think she's still no. very cautious about him, so she's not going to give her a whole she heart is, away. But I also think that this is a moment for her to feel powerful. And ah, yeah. so she can control that portion, enjoys mm-hmm. it, but has the power to ease up to when she wants. She's, I think she's figuring out who she is or who she wants to be because she still feels conflicted based on the tra- uh, the slut from the valley, Brooke, which mm. is what they used to call her. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so. Yeah, so that'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. Mm-hmm. All right, Terry, what's Sheila's next move? Oh, Steffi better have a lot of security. Steffi and hey, and her children. I agree. I think Sheila's going to go full on after him. But the other thing, oh, I was just thinking about this. Remember she made a reference to Liam? Yes. And how... She might figure out a way to make it look like those two are together somehow in front of Finn or something. She's going to destroy or work to destroy Steffi, period. I'm just not exactly sure how. Either kill her or Liam. Or try to. Yeah, over the cliff. Somebody's going over the cliff or through a glass table. (laughs) Or (laughs) uh, I'm going to say this, that I think um, I agree with what you're saying. I think she would pursue Steffi. Um, Yeah, it's going to get twisty because I think Liam's going to I think Liam's going to go after Steffi. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think he'll He's actually show fly. up there. He'll show up over there. Yes, yes. Um, and you know what? Dollar Bill might encourage it. He might. Yeah, he might. He's always been Team Steffi. Oh yeah, remember when he had In a weird crush ways. on her? Oh yeah, that was gross. Some years ago, well, she he's had old sex enough... with them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. She she's old and he's old enough to be her father. Uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's older. I bet he's in his 60s, Terry. Yeah, I would think he probably is. Yeah. Or he's got to be 60-ish anyway. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. What will become of Deacon? uh, I mean, in long term here, what will become of Deacon? And especially if he's found out that he's been playing house with Sheila. (laughs) What do you think, Terry? Um, you know, he's kind of a, he's a good character, but I think what's going to happen is that he will be found out. Sheila, they'll run off somewhere. They'll hide out. They'll figure out something because I don't think that, I don't think they're going to let, the writers are going to let those two go yet. And I think Deacon is going to be a part of that wow, because I he, he's of, in love with that. as much as he acts like he's not. He's in love with her. He is. Or acts like he's yes. So I think 
the two of them. Hey, Terry, relationships get confusing sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me count the ways. <laughs> now I'm playing yes. Dr. Phil. Yes. Uh, that's funny. All right. So what do you so, think? Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, Terry. But like you said, I think uh, if Deacon's discovered, then he's toast. He probably oh. would. And yeah. he's in, I agree with you. He's in love with Sheila. So he'd end up, he'd team up with her to go after Steffi or whatever she wants. Yeah. Wow. Now, see, that was a step I didn't look at. That would, boy, that would be sudsy. Whoa. Wouldn't it, though? <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the, the possibilities. Ooh, that's good. I mean, it's it's not much rip, of a leap. To see. See. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much of a leap to see Deacon go back to his old ways and be a, a criminal again, you know? No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. And because it, at, at that point, he would figure he's lost hope in Brooke completely anyway. Yeah. He's got so nothing he might to lose. as well he's got just... nothing left. Exactly. Yep. All right. So what will Steffi do long term? I mean, what, what do you? How do you see this thing? And maybe it's just what you said. There, there's a confrontation, and then yeah. something happens, or it doesn't happen. I think after the maternity, I think there'll be something. There'll be some confrontation, and we won't. Obviously, we're not going to see her for a while. I think that her and Liam are going to get together. I, I think they'll be together because he's going to chase after her. And what I'm worried about is that I think Finn is going to lose it. He's He is Sheila's son. And they've alluded to that a few times. So I think Finn is going to struggle with his own anger issues. And... I don't know, but what I'm still wondering, where are Lee and Jack? Oh, uh, I Lee, honest... Lee shows up today, Terry. Oh, she does? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think Finn called her over, and then you know they were talking about the whole, the fact that Steffi, okay. that's part of how they told the story of Steffi leaving, okay. is through Finn telling his mom, Lee, that okay. this is what happened kind of thing. Okay. So you'll see that when you go back and watch it today All for right. today's episode. Okay. All right. Well, what any, do you think? Do you have any? Um, yeah, I think it, I. I guess I agree with you. I think I think it's just it's going to end in a confrontation, mm -hmm. but I don't know how they can unless they stall this story out. How are they going to? You know, let's say she wants to be out of out of script for like three months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Can you stall that story out that long? Probably. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we're talking about a soap opera. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Any Ooh. other thoughts or predictions, Terry, before we close? No, I think I'm worn out. Me too. That was, that was so long. My brain is fried. <laughs> yes. All right. Until we dish again. Oh, keep it sudsy. And we are out. <laughs>